I'm guessing you haven't had a chance to pour through the platforms of each of the major federal political parties to, to help you make a decision on who you're going to vote for in this federal election. But we have. I'm Dan Kelly, president of the Canadian Federation of Independent Business. Each of the major political parties has put forward a variety of very good suggestions, things that we think would move the ball forward for small and medium-sized business owners, but also a few worrisome things, things that would cause some business owners to stay up at night. We want to bring you those ideas to help you make your decision on who you might support in this election campaign. Let's start with the Liberal Party, the governing party. The Liberals have proposed a couple of very good things for small business. One of them is the extension of their hiring incentive. This new hiring benefit would be extended until March 31st of 2022, and any new hire would have a subsidy up to 50% of their wages. So it's a pretty significant help to businesses that are just getting into the recovery phase. The other big positive is that they're looking to keep the wage and the rent subsidy and return it back to the 75% maximum. But unfortunately, that's only for the tourism industry. That means it's good news for tourism, tourism operators, but but for any other business in other sectors of the economy, the wage and the rent subsidy would be phased out very quickly by the end of October. Also, the Liberals haven't proposed a fix to the fact that new businesses are ineligible for all of the major government support programs, including the wage and the rent subsidy. That's something the Prime Minister promised to fix, but to date has not happened. Moving on to the Conservatives, the Tories have proposed a couple of big things for small business. One of them is their job surge plan. This is a hiring incentive. It would provide up to 50% funding for new jobs that are created in small businesses. Importantly, this would also include new businesses that, that weren't there prior to the pandemic. Secondly, and, and probably the biggest proposal uh, under the Conservatives, is expansion of the SEBA loan program. They're proposing to expand those loans, reopen the program, and expand them up to $200,000. And of, of that, 25% or up to $50,000 would be forgivable, depending on the size of the business. Tories have some worrisome proposals as well. One of them is to expand the employment insurance system and create an EI-like system for the self-employed. There are loads and loads of, of legitimate self-employed people who don't want to be part of the EI system, and under the Conservative proposal, they would be included in it. The NDP, too, has made some commitments to small business owners. On the positive front, they've suggested that they're going to extend the wage and the rent subsidy until all of the pandemic restrictions are lifted. That's very good news, something that CFIB supports. The NDP is also committed to paying the payroll taxes like EI and CPP for any new hires that a small business might make as part of its recovery. One of the most worrisome proposals though from the NDP is to increase the capital gains inclusion rate to 75%. That's a big worry for small business owners. You know that your capital gains is, is often the retirement savings for small business owners, and many of you I know would be very concerned by that. The Bloc Québécois, the People's Party, the Green Party, they've also proposed many changes for small business owners. On the positive side, the Bloc Québécois has proposed to end the CRB for most sectors of the economy. This is the program that is causing an increase in the shortage of labor, particularly for part-time workers. Green Party has also proposed to extend the wage and the rent subsidy for small business owners like the NDP. The People's Party has promised to balance the budget within their first term in office, something that many small business owners would favor. On the worrisome side, the Bloc Québécois and the People's Party have no plans to extend the wage and the rent subsidy. Those are programs that are really, really needed by small business owners at this time as we move into the recovery phase. And the Green Party has proposed a dramatic increase in carbon taxes. That's a big worry for small business owners that, that are big, big payers of carbon taxes as they exist right now in Canada. These commitments and many more are included in CFIB's summary and analysis of each of the platforms of the political parties. I hope that it'll help you in making your decision as to who you might support in the federal election. Thank you so much for listening.